While one of the strengths of the Adobe PDF file format is its ability to be viewed by almost anyone, frequently there will be information in a PDF that you do not want to be seen. You will need to remove various types of content to comply with regulations like the Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act, the Freedom of Information Act, or the U.S. Privacy Act. For court filings, you may want to remove any irrelevant information from a PDF. And with any PDF that will be widely distributed, you want to make sure you aren't sharing any personal or confidential information. Acrobat has had the capability of removing sensitive information from PDFs for quite a few versions, and now in Acrobat 10, the capabilities are even stronger. Let's take a look. First, select Tools and then go down to the protection panel and look at the area where it says blackout and remove content which is pretty much the dictionary definition for redaction. You can customize the way your redaction marks will look by going to the redaction properties menu. You can change the outline color of your marks, you can change the fill color, or you can select no color and if you have a color on the fill you can change the opacity. If you want to overlay text on your redaction marks select this option here for use overlay text and then you can select a typeface, a font size, you can play around with whether you want to auto size the text to fit the redaction region, if you want the text to repeat over and over if you have specified a specific size you can change the font color and you can change the alignment. Then, if I want to put in custom text, let's say I want to say something like confidential, I can put that in here. If you want to work with code sets developed specifically for the U.S. Freedom of Information Act or the U.S. Privacy Act, then you will select Redaction Code and select the code set that you want to work with. You can also create custom code sets by going to Edit Codes, and pulling up the redaction code editor where you can add sets, remove sets, or import or export sets. Let's go to our document now and apply some simple redaction marks. When I select mark for redaction, a message comes up that lets me know that I have to first mark and then apply and that redactions are not applied permanently until I select apply redactions. So I will say OK to that. Then I go into my document and choose the word or words that I want to remove. So in this case, let's say I want to keep the name of the city anonymous. So anytime I see the city name Meridian, I go through and mark it. Now you can see that the appearance is showing up as I had specified it back in the properties menu with the green outline and no fill. Looking for words one at a time works just fine if it's a short document and I'm a fast reader, but fortunately Acrobat has the ability to search and remove text, which helps a lot when I'm working in a longer document. To get to my search function, I select Search and Remove Text and my search panel opens. I can look in the PDF that I have open right now, or I can look across a number of PDFs. I can search for a single word or phrase or multiple words, and I can search on patterns. Notice that at the bottom of the search window, I have an option to choose a different locale for patterns. Acrobat 10 has an improved ability to switch between country-specific redaction patterns. When I go to Select Your Pattern, I see a list of the different patterns Acrobat can recognize. Let me choose Dates and Search and Redact, and very quickly my results come up. If I want to see in context where the different dates appear, I can just click on the result list. I can choose how much of a pattern I wish to redact by selecting mark partial words for redaction and then I can choose X number of characters from the beginning or from the end so if I wanted to get rid of the year I could choose perhaps four characters from the end. A new capability in Acrobat 10 that I love is the ability to automatically mark content for redaction that appears in the same location across multiple pages. So I select Mark for Redaction, and let's say I want to get rid of the word local in my header. I select it on one page, right-click or control-click on it on a Mac, and then choose Repeat Mark Across Pages. And then 
I can choose odd or even pages, a page range, or all pages. I'm going to choose all pages. And there we go. If I navigate using my page thumbnails, I can see that the mark has been repeated across multiple pages. Some of the other interesting things you can do by right-clicking on a redaction mark to open up the context menu are you can open a pop-up note if you want to insert a comment for anyone else who might be reviewing your redaction marks. You can go to the properties menu and change the look of this particular mark or you can apply different code entries by just going to the code set and choosing the ones that you want. And you can apply multiple code entries to a single redaction mark. You can also remove code entries by right-clicking on the mark and then deselecting it. In Acrobat 10, you can accomplish a lot with the comment panel to make the redaction process more efficient. Select Comment, then select Comments List, and now I can see all the different redaction marks I have in this PDF. I can select multiple marks, right-click on them, and go to Properties and make a change that will apply to all the marks that I have selected. In the Comments list, I can search for redaction marks based on code entries and then make a change to all those marks at once. For example, I can search and delete a set of redaction marks or search and change the code entry from one to another. You can send your redaction marks out for review just like you can send comments out for review. For more information on using the commenting review process, see the comments tutorial at acrobatusers.com.